Hi everyone, my name is Aneta and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video you'll see me painting a piece that was inspired by one of my sketches. I also wanted to try out something unusual to me and paint a small landscape within the composition. Before I jump into describing the process, I would like to tell you what happened that pushed me towards making a sketch in first place. Because you might have noticed, so far I would almost always start from a black line art and then move to colors. However, this time things developed in a different way and surprisingly the entire process felt more natural to me. If you've seen my previous videos, you might be aware that I've been using acrylic inks for quite some time. It all started from a basic set of six colors and it worked for me. It felt really natural to use, so I decided upon expanding my range of colors. And as of now, I have 12 of them. It is still a humble set, the full range offered by Liquitex is 35, however I feel happy for now with what I have and if you are interested I might make a swatch video and show you how to work with them. I don't know, let me know in the comments. I'm not an expert of course, I'm still learning myself but it can be fun. My recent discovery was realizing that I don't need to always start from a line knot and I can make a proper sketch with a hard H plus pencil and paint directly on the top of it. I know it sounds silly but I always associated graphite and water based media with an awful grey smudge effect. I know it's nothing new under the sun, but I kinda always felt like making line arts was the only right way if I wanted to use media such as watercolors or inks. The problem was that making a clean line art is super time taking. There was always an element of stress involved when I made a line the way I didn't want to and I had to scrap few drawings in the past. Overall, I feel like I don't want it to be a part of my process anymore, at least not for every piece I make. After preparing the sketch, I used a mix of transparent raw sienna and transparent raw amber. I think I went a little bit too heavy with it. I should have diluted more with water and built upon it. In fact, I made a sort of stain in the upper left corner. So later on I took my white gouache, which inspired me to make a stone-like effect. For this dark background I used a layer of Bombay Indian ink. 
The reason being is that it has this nice sepia tone and I have to use it in a way or another. I bought it last year for Inktober and it's great but I like acrylics more I guess. And this Bombay ink stained my palette in a way that it was really hard to remove. I don't know why to be honest, I don't have that problem with Liquitex. Once the acrylic ink dries and you wash it with water, it kinda crumbles. This is a case of course if you are using porcelain palette, I never used it on a plastic one. So yeah, going back to the background, I made at least 3 or 4 layers with it. I did it mostly off camera because there wasn't anything really interesting about it. However, I must admit that shining effect at the end was really satisfying. My biggest mistake, I'm sure I will never repeat again, is that I didn't stretch my paper properly, so working on it was hard at times. I also had some paint bleeding at the border and I don't like when this happens. On the other hand, 
it gives your art more authenticity. Either way, it was a small thing, but it can be annoying at times. I continued building values with inks, and I quite enjoyed that soft transitions in her hair, but of course I had to make a bold line, so later on I switched to my usual gouache palette and adjusted some strands. This made me think about my current approach, to be honest, and for my next piece I guess I will work more on that soft transitions. I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but I'm really trying to bring something new to my art.
And last but not least, I made a leap of faith and started working on this tiny landscape. I started with inks to make a base and then moved to gouache and then inks again and then I've moved back to gouaches. The reason being is that it gave me more freedom so I could experiment a bit.
last thing that I added was a gold border. I used my acrylic paint. This is a standard jar of acrylic paint that miraculously it's still good to use. I bought this jar of paint 12 years ago. Can you believe it? It's half empty, but I kept it closed and it's still good to use. And I also like the quality of it. That's it! The piece was finally done. I was happy with how it came and yeah, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet and I'll see you next time. Ciao!